And if they are broken, you know, we do typically replace them, but sometimes customers don't want to replace these. So, um, you know, we, we always are gentle when we're removing this back glass to make sure that it doesn't get any worse, especially if the customer wants to keep it. But we do let them know that sometimes with them being shattered, you know, they are going to break a little bit more. Looks like we still have some adhesive here. Let's pull this off. And there we have it. What we have here, grab the majority of this gunk. And we do want to make sure this has a nice smooth finish so whenever we do put it back together, the glass will sit nice and flush. Just to help get all this out. Gently, which was there. And the battery's gonna be, where's the battery? Right here. Boom. So here's your QI charger back plate. And you have your battery right here. You guys follow the, you know, our instructions on how to do the glass replacements. Okay, so it looks like we have these removed. There's a flex here. Let's get this flex removed. There you go. And look, that just came right up, jumped right up. And it looks like the audio speaker here is included, built into this back plate. So here's the charging port. So if you do need a charging port replaced, you'll have to replace this whole little cable assembly. All right, this actually all needs to be replaced. You can see how it's soldered right on top here. That's it, it looks loose. Let's see if we have a point here we can grab and just lift. So here we have her. So if you guys do have any uh, malfunctioning cameras, this is your rear camera right here. Those actually can be replaced. I'll go ahead and remove those. There's a FPC connector here on the back, this flex cable, just go ahead and lift that up. We have that lifted up. And this one also has another two down below here, your main, main monster cam. And you have your double stacked main board here. I'm gonna add a little bit of 99 ISO, just a thin little bead down here and right here. That just helps this soften the adhesive. And then we are gonna use our pry tool. Do wanna make sure I get right in between the frame and the battery. Just give it a little pry. Just a couple small little pries and you'll see that it just pops right out. Just like that. Doesn't require a lot of force, guys. Just nice and gentle, okay? But there we go, battery. <laughs> Add a little bit of alcohol. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up my Note 20 Ultra teardown video, guys. It's pretty basic, and I really do think you guys will be able to do it if you follow the technique.